a small town like this can go and put on a, an air show that has some point of satisfaction for everyone. And he's our, he's our, he's our money player. That's him right there. He's loud. It's crazy. Big hunters. But adding to the excitement of limo or fire engine, this Easter Bunny floated in courtesy of a parachute. Oz, the idea was to be wacky and dress in the spirit of the occasion. We begin tonight with breaking news. A deputy involved crash has closed part of State Street in Star. Let's go live to Glenn Beebe. He's there on scene with the very latest Glenn. Natalie, let me just show you exactly how bad this crash was. Take a look. This is the car that deputies say ran into another deputy as he was driving on State Street. Just take a look how violent this crash really was. The tire came completely off. If my camera guy can zoom in here, you can see just how bad the wheel well is cracked. All of this is destroyed. Now we'll show you exactly how far this came. Let me show you something over here. The troopers are still on scene. This is where everything is closed down right now, so you'll have to go around. But if you come down here where you see those other cars right now you can see the sirens or you can see the lights from here that's about where they hit so from there all the way to here is about how far this crash happened now for some reason they don't know what they say that this car came across the center line and hit a deputy's car but you can see just down this street, there's a car that just drove past through there. That's the scene where officers found this car abandoned. Brian, this garage is where we found the snake hiding right behind these TVs. And let me introduce you to what we saw. This is Trinity. She's a nine foot boa constrictor. A Taylor thinks the Supreme Court's recent decision on gay marriage and floating on the river aren't put at risk. And these green markings here on the street. But they do say that they have never seen anything like this. Pulling up to the shore in boats just like these. I always believed that I had a special talent and that maybe one day uh, it would be, you know, shared and people would enjoy it. And joy, people are crazy for Pam Smart's artwork. Her Color Me Your Way coloring books have been selling out at local Costco stores for a couple of years, requiring extra shifts at Caxton Printers in Caldwell. 
saying color me your way is the one that's holding them up, but it's certainly not holding them back. <laughs> Smart is a pioneer in the world of coloring books for adults, but now suddenly the concept is the hottest thing in publishing. Grown-ups, get out your crayon, screams a headline in the New York Times. But Smart sees what the newcomers are doing as a fad, a grab for a quick buck, not her goal at all. I like to see these books for children, too. And the thing is, she's such a talented artist. Her standalone work could command big bucks in galleries. But money isn't the point. With the coloring books, she's connecting to a world of strangers, whom she now counts as friends. I love them. I've got to know quite a few of them. I mean, yeah, I don't meet them in person. Some I actually do. But uh, they pour their hearts out, and um, I hear them. And they send their work neatly colored in, sometimes with apologies. I said, you're just as much a part of this art as I am. I mean, I drew it, but what you guys are doing is magnificent. You're completing it. So aren't we doing this together? Hasn't it become a together thing? Maybe the whole world together. Australia Costco is interested, and Costco Canada. So Smart's branching out by producing books of individual cards, more portable and easier to fill in than a page that's 11 by 18. How neat to get this in the mail, <laughs> you know, really. Sure. Somebody who put time into something and made it special. You think they're going to throw this away? <laughs> I hope not. So we had to ask, how does she explain the enormous popularity of her work? Why are fans so passionate? Clearly, they see it as more than just filling in the blanks. Maybe it's filling a void. This is really neat because I get a lot of pictures from grandparents and parents and children sitting together at the same table. Call it a rainbow connection.